compare perimeter framing to modular framing. Modular framing has been very popular over the last 10 years with uh, do-it-yourself homeowners for first timers. But to be honest, when I was a professional contractor building these outdoor kitchen frames at people's homes, I didn't use modules. I did what's called perimeter framing. Now you can see here that we have two modules put together here, an eight footer and a four footer. Do you see all this material here between the connection here? Well, that's a lot of extra material uh, that's really not needed. And professional contractors, they wouldn't have all this here. They would go ahead and just make a turn and continue on saving parts, labor, and uh, material costs. So let's go ahead and I'll give a demonstration of how we do perimeter framing. So here we're doing perimeter framing. So I could go out to anyone's home to the job site and I would go to their concrete pad and I would start laying down my steel tubes, uh, the perimeter of their concrete pad. No matter what length it is, I can easily lay it out quickly like this. Now you can see that I'm using the the three-way corner couplers in the corners. And this is um, a 28 and three-quarter inch pre-cut tube, and that creates a 32 inch depth module. The reason being is when you add the couplers, it's now becoming a total frame of 32 inches. And it's just so easy to slip these on and you just lock it in with a screw. So this is really easy, like a child could do this. It's like Legos. You come down here, we have these union couplers. They're three inches long, and I like to make a mark in the center, and I slip it in one part of the tube, and then I'll lock it in with a screw, and then I'll slide in the next one, like so, and put another screw. Now, these are four foot length of all tubes. They're pre-cut to four feet. Now, we'll come down here, and we'll put in another three-way corner. And now we're gonna go off this way on the concrete pad. We'll just slip this over. And then we'll go over here and we can slip this one in. You can see just how easy this is because I'm following the concrete pad. I'm not doing modules here. So it's, it's much faster and easier and you're saving money and time. It's less materials and, le and less labor. And you can create any custom length. Now I'll go ahead and put a union here. So you can see I used a 30, uh, 28 and 3 quarter inch on that end, a 28 and 3 quarter inch here, so it makes it perfect. Now I'll put another four footer. Lock them in with the screws. And then let's say this is the end of the concrete pad. I'll go ahead and finish it off with a three-way corner. But if I wanted to go another two feet, uh, I would use um, one of these 28 and 3 quarter inch pieces or if it was going to be more than 28 and 3 quarter inches I would get a 4 foot tube and cut it to fit. So we'll go ahead and slip this in. This is just so easy. Honestly saying it's a lot easier than when I used to do these with studs and track. So there you go, you have your perimeter frame, it's all screwed in, and now you can start taking your pre-cut uh, vertical tubes for a cooking height module or, or cooking height frame, and they just slip right over. So you can see how fast you're going to get those vertical uprights, those vertical tubes in place, and then you'll fill in the rest of the non-appliance side with vertical tubes every 16 inches or so, and then you go ahead and you'll work on your appliance side, wherever you want your grill, your side burner. But you can see this is so fast and you've saved all that extra parts over here. So it's faster, it's cheaper, uh, it's very customizable to any size concrete pad. So this is a fantastic way for people that have experience. Maybe they've already done a modular system before and they understand. This is the way for contractors and second timers to do it. Thank you. Now, our steel tubing, you're getting it at wholesale around $3 a linear foot or so. If you go down to a metal supply store for an inch and a half to inch and three quarter, you're looking at six, $7 a linear foot.
So our prices are wholesale. You're getting a really low price on steel tubing. You don't have to do any welding. You're just putting these together so fast and easy with self-tapping screws. This is the best way for our contractors building outdoor kitchen frames, fire pit frames, uh, outdoor fireplaces, uh, you name it. Anything that you think of to create, maybe a pony wall in front of swimming pool equipment. You can do all of that with this galvanized steel tubing framing system and you'll find these incredible low prices. And uh, if you don't live in California, if you're in another state, there's no sales tax. So this is a great way for contractors to make the most money with the most professional system and save. No more welding, no more days trying to build a frame. You'll do it fast and easy.